Cheers, everybody. Well, welcome to another episode of Bourbon and Booze. I'm really excited about this episode, and hopefully you will be as well. It's a fancy uh, bottle. It's a fancy bottle. And it's something that I picked up before the craze, so make sure you do hit that like and subscribe. It means a lot to us. This is Smoke Wagon. The Smoke Wagon um, craze has hit. Now, this isn't the cast strength or uh, anything like that. This is their main straight bourbon whiskey. But now Smoke Wagon is an unattainable, which kind of sucks. So Smoke Wagon is from Nevada. It's the Nevada um, H&C Distillery. I think that's in Las Vegas. And uh, you can find Smoke Wagons for two, three, four hundred dollars now. It says thirty-two ninety-nine. Yeah, <laughs> we got this at thirty-two ninety-nine in. Uh, I'm assuming this was your... Kentucky? Louisiana? Yeah. And the the guy at the liquor store said, hey, you should probably pick this up because this is going to be something that's um, desired. That he's already hearing that this is basically becoming a unicorn. I really wish I picked up two, and he had one other one there I think is a little bit more expensive. I wish I picked that up because Smoke Wagon is one of the attainables. And what's funny about this, it's one of the attainables that's not part of the um, Buffalo Trace Sazerac oh. group. Um, an ind independent yeah. distillery. Yeah, there's only two independent um, unattainables that I can think of. There's this, and then there's the Midsummer's Night Dream from uh, High West. Utah? Yeah. So I found that really um, interesting. And we have several Las Vegas, Nevada whiskeys that yeah, we kind of, whatever. We so, do. yeah. So when I picked this up, I wasn't really that impressed, and we haven't even opened this, but then it became part of the unicorn craze, and I was like, dang. So I'm really excited to try this. I've actually had Smoke Wagon before uh, at a friend's house, but this is my own bottle, and we're going to open it up. So it is 46.5% or 92.5 proof. I think the unicorn one is a 50% 100 proof, and then a cast strength. Uh, it's aged four to five years, and the price, like Cody said, was $32.99 because that's the label here. And I don't even know what the price of this particular bottle is anymore, um, but I'm sure it's not $32. I'm sure it's more like $60, $70. But the unattainables are, like I say, unattainable are worth hundreds. So, kind of glad that... Uh, I've been doing uh, these whiskeys on my own, like the Sugard from a few weeks ago, and the Gold and stuff like that, without my brother here, because I don't want to share. <laughs> and I'm also um, curious at how this particular bottle feels, because... It's a cool looking bottle. Yeah, it is a cool bottle, but I'm also worried that uh, I'll be like, eee! and then we'll get all the haters. Because, you know, it's an unattainable. All right, at $32.99, this is a two-barrel on cost. It's been a while since we've had a two-barrel. Everything's usually 50 or 40 <laughs> Great smell aroma right yeah. off the bat. Mint and molasses and, and maple. Maple, I get the maple. Blend. Yeah. It smells like a syrup. Yes, it does. A very good syrup. I'd love to put this on pancakes. Like a candy syrup. Mint, molasses, and maple. Almost no alcohol bite in the smell. You can hardly tell you're smelling something alcoholic. So this is Las Vegas. So we know when the lightest we have tingles. relatives in Las Vegas are going to have to go get this. Okay, so... I'm yeah. saying it's light. Light? Four? It smells good. It's got several <clears throat> different flavors in there, and you can smell it, and it's not biting your nose. 
very hint, like you can barely tell that you're sniffing something alcoholic. There's a <clears throat> kind of like a <clears throat> a stone fruit. Whether it's stone a pear, fruit. it's not a pear. Cherry. Oh wow! There, I almost have it. It's got an aroma to it that I. It's in my memory. I don't know what this is though. It reminds me of something. Peach? <laughs> no, not a peach. Oh, it's driving no me nuts. Idea. We're gonna come back to aroma in just a minute. Uh, flavor and bite. Bite. No heat up front or back end. However, it's got a little bit of a funkiness on the back end. Mm. Not much. Very little tingling yeah. bite. Yeah, very little. Medium to mild. Uh, we'll go with mild, like a four for right now. It might downgrade. Um, I will say that the first um, clue on tasting is it's a cooling effect. Very unique. Kind of sweet, the bitters, and the aroma comes through. It's very pleasant to drink. Okay, so some vanilla. Okay, um, it's an apple, but it's not a green apple. On There's the like flavor and the bite. Types of apples. I know. On the flavor and the bite. Possibly a Granny Smith, a red apple, Granny Smith. I'm gonna say that. I'm just gonna put apple for right now. You guys can leave in the comment what you think. No smoke. It's called Smoke Wagon. <laughs> I would figure there's smoke there. Not really at all. What's the flower on the bottle? There's a flower. Um, Maybe that's what we're smelling. Could be. Bibimus Morendum Established. I don't know what that means. All right. I didn't notice all that much of a change when it came to the water, but it's still pleasant, honestly. Flavor which is smooth and rich beyond its years. Mm -hmm. A delicate balance of rye, spice, sweet notes of corn with toasted oak and caramel. Caramel, yeah. Maybe. Like a caramel apple? Yeah. This is kind of odd. I mean, it's really good. It's really good, but it is different. I say pleasant. Pleasant. That's four. A four across the board? I think so. It does taste quite good. It's got a decent aroma, very little bite, and the flavor is complex enough that you can sip it and taste it in different ways, get different flavors. Yeah, I'm just... They're just hard to identify. Exactly. That's what's irritating me. Don't dislike them. They're just... Can't put a word on it. And whatever... I'm smelling is in the back of my head, and as soon as the video ends, I'll remember what it is. I wish we had a studio audience today. I wish that um, Alex and my wife was here, and maybe Bree and Sarah and anybody else. Get up. Because they could probably identify it more. Larger pool of noses. This is very unique. This is excellent. I don't know that. It's unattainable excellent. And of course, this is just most things base. aren't unattainable excellent because then you don't ever get to have it. True. So, this is four across the board except for cost. So, this is uh, a 14, which is a three and a half. I'd say it's a 
four. Yeah, I think this is a four. If um, you could get it at the $32, it'd be an excellent four. Yeah. Must have. This is... Which is probably why it's gone. So I, yeah, I can understand why this is so desired. Um, I don't know that I would put it at the unicorn level yet. No, um, it is probably unicorn in its differentness. But I haven't tried the cast but. strength and anything like that, so um, curious. Leave your comment below. Uh, and if you're watching this video because you thought it was the unicorn, and I don't know that this is the unicorn. I've actually never seen Smoke Wagon in the store, so this could be one of the unicorns as well. The regular straight bourbon whiskey, but I don't think it is. Um, but tell me what you think. Um, we'd really be interested. This actually is something that I want to revisit. I want to get a couple of the other expressions, you know, the cast strength and um, yeah, high proofs and, and look That's at it. It's a great first impression of this distillery. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Um, because we've done a couple uh, Vegas distilleries and we're not impressed. Like uh, the uh, Las Vegas distillery. <laughs> which I don't is, remember it. Yeah. It's at uh, Vegas number seven up there. You see it? It's the middle bottle. Uh, no, I didn't. The lucky number seven. Yeah, I don't remember liking that one. Yeah, so we might have to visit that uh, and see. But tell us what you think. That's what's important. Let's let's just open the conversation and have a great dialogue in our comments below. Um, tell you tell us what you think. If you're here in Texas and you know where you can get um, some of these unattainables, of course, leave us a little um, note. Uh, Put it in the comments so everybody else can go. Yeah, yeah. It's all about sharing. Uh, or you could leave us a treasure map. I don't care. But let us know and Only make sure... Only if it involves drinking. <laughs> make sure you do hit the like and subscribe. It means a lot to us. Check out Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and all of our merchandise. And remember, this is going to be a hard one. There's no bad whiskey. There's only good whiskey and great whiskey. We left this at a four. This is a great whiskey. to me would be great whiskey, but I'm still trying to tease out those notes. Yeah, but... The fact that it's so complex, you can't figure it out. Yeah. Probably makes it a great whiskey. Great whiskey. Cheers. Cheers.